Hello, Karina Essa here, and in this video, I want to share with you what exactly NFT domains are, how they can be used, where they can be bought, and what makes them different from standard domains. NFT domain names are the NFT version of website domain names. In other words, the NFT version of URLs such as investing.com, but they exist on the decentralized web. NFT domain names have extensions such as .x and .crypto instead of .com or .net, for example. And there is currently a rush to secure NFT domain names with people buying them purely based on the potential of them being worth millions in a few years time if they achieve mass adoption. Already some one word NFT domains are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. NFT domains are quite different from standard domain names. First, traditional domain names are quite one-dimensional as they only serve a few purposes and are held on a server. Traditional domain names have existed for over 30 years and there are now approximately 350 million domain name registrations. Traditional domain names can be tricky to plug into other types of software to interact with other applications. If you have a website of your own, you've probably noticed that it requires a lot of skills and knowledge to turn a domain name into a fully functioning website. With NFT domains, the process is much easier because you can very easily build more applications and programs on top of them and let them run like an app. You can even build additional software to interface with them. Plus, with traditional domain names, you don't actually own the domain name after you purchase it. It is still owned by the domain name registry service you bought it from. When you purchase a traditional domain name, you simply pay for the right to use the name for a limited time period. If you want to extend the time you want to use your domain name for, you have to pay renewal fees. Ultimately, the place you bought your traditional domain name from controls your domain name. Traditional domains also make it hard for developers to innovate on top of them because they are controlled inside these servers by the organization that controls that particular domain extension. Plus, these standard domains can be hacked and your domain name can be stolen. NFT domain names, on the other hand, are held in the user's wallet, not on a server. It's very similar to the way you store cryptocurrencies in your wallet. No one can move them around other than you unless they have access to your wallet. This adds another layer of security. Plus, there is no central server for NFT domains. They're on a public registry, meaning on publicly accessible blockchains. Anyone can inspect the records of your NFT domain names by looking them up, which provides a great level of openness and transparency. And more importantly, one word and two word NFT domain names such as propertyinvesting.x are available relatively cheaply, whereas one word and two word standard domain names are either already taken or cost millions of dollars. It's as if the clock has been turned back 30 years to the days when .com domain names were available for just a few dollars. There is a huge opportunity to purchase NFT domain names for very little right now. Looking back, many people regret not jumping on the opportunity in the 90s to secure one word and two word domain names because many of them are now worth millions of dollars. The standard one word domain name, uh, insurance.com for example, is currently worth $35.6 million, although back in the 90s it was worth just a few dollars. In addition, with NFT domain names, there are no renewal fees. Once you purchase your NFT domain, you own it for life unless you choose to resell it. Currently, NFT domain names are used as addresses to send and receive cryptocurrencies. For example, if someone wants to send cryptocurrencies to your digital wallet, you have to provide your MetaMask or any digital wallet address, which is a long list of numbers and letters. If you have an NFT domain, uh, such as johnsmith.crypto, you can provide that name instead. Alternatively, you can use it as your decentralized website address. Decentralized websites with NFT domain names can be found on browsers such as Brave and Opera. With traditional domain names, ICANN regulations require that information about the owners of any domain name is displayed in the WHOIS database. WHOIS is an internet protocol that can be used to look up who owns a domain name at any given time. On WHOIS, you can find out when a domain was created, when it is set to expire, who owns it, and how to contact the owner. With NFT domains, however, your identity as an NFT domain holder will not be publicly known by default unless you choose to share that information. In addition, you can use your NFT domain name as your universal username and password across multiple applications. With an NFT domain, you can also use the humanity check feature. This feature is an identity layer that you can add to your NFT domain to 
prove that you are a real person but without having to share any personal information to respect your privacy. All you need to do is upload a selfie and a photo of your government ID. Then once you have been verified as a real person, you are in control of which applications you share your humanity check with. That way, other applications don't collect your personal information to verify you're a real person. And NFT domains also stop the creation of fake personas on social media. So far, it has been very easy for anyone to impersonate you on social networks. All they need to do is create a username, set a password, and then upload a profile picture of you. Within minutes, anyone can pretend they are you. To stop this from happening, all you need to do is link your NFT domain to your existing social media accounts, such as Twitter, so your followers and fans know it's really you. So if you've decided to own a few NFT domains, you can buy them on unstoppablewebdomains.com. Simply choose the keywords and the domain extension you want, such as adam.crypto, and you can purchase it with a credit card, PayPal, or with cryptocurrencies. When you first purchase an NFT domain with unstoppablewebdomains.com, you will be asked to verify your email address. Simply click on the link they send you by email to do so. Once you have purchased your first NFT domain, remember that it is yours forever unless you choose to sell it. Your NFT domain name is stored in your cryptocurrency wallet and can be transferred by you after you mint your NFT domain on the blockchain using your wallet. Buying NFT domains has been very profitable for some people who purchase them and resell them after at a profit on OpenSea.io or other secondary marketplaces. For example, a Twitter user published a tweet recently saying that they had bought the domain business.crypto for $1,000 and resold it for $120,000. So owning NFT domains could be very profitable if their traditional counterparts, such as insurance.com, and now worth $35 million, are anything to go by. So go to unstoppablewebdomains.com and start looking at NFT domains you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching this video. To support our channel, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.